Hello everyone again, day number two at the summit of Ubanas and you may be wondering where the summit of Ubanas is and so are we, it's somewhere up there so we arrived and it was somewhat clear, there's a bit of a cloudy background but very quickly covered over and maybe you'll hear from some thunder strikes as well so there's some clouds and thunder strikes over the summit so at the moment we're not making any measurements well we're making measurements but they're not very useful and we're hoping that these clouds are going to clear. So yesterday afternoon or evening we are kind of umming and ahhing about whether we come back up today and that was mainly because of the data we collected yesterday. So yesterday there were good conditions for measurements but there didn't seem to be much gas coming out of the summit. Uh, it was very sporadic so maybe you heard some of the thunder then. Anyhow the gas was very sporadic and Essentially, we're wondering whether there was any point in coming up if the gas was so sporadic. Uh, but me and Tom, uh, the PhD student, Tom Wilkes, had a little bit of discussion about coming up. And we thought, well, we're here anyway, so we might as well come up and try and make some more measurements. So here we are, trying to make some more measurements, measurements somewhat unsuccessfully. Um, but hey, this is volcanology. This is remote sensing. This is what we pay, get paid to do. And still great we're up here in this amazing environment so if you just look around see these are the mountains in the background and there's the camera there in pointing the direction you might even be able to see a small little farm over out in that direction as well so it's a really amazing location to work in and at such high altitude um, so I'm dealing a lot better with the altitude today so yesterday I felt very very exhausted so I think I learned a lesson don't get up get off a flight and don't go straight up, gaining from essentially zero to 4,600 meters in less than 24 hours. So Lima, it's about zero, I guess. And up here, we're working at about 4,300 and we peak at about 4,600 meters. So top tip, don't go straight from the airplane right up to 4,500 meters to do research because that coupled with jet lag, exhaustion, not enough sleep, um, really wasn't great but today I've had a great eight and a half hours sleep and I feel much better doing all this work. So I don't think I have much else to tell you but that's, this is day number two and hopefully Ubanas shows us what she's got in a moment and we can make some measurements. So fingers crossed uh, and see you all soon.